cool play here. But all those characters are really good versus Zelda. We'll see. Already pretty decent losers run for a uh, blade, anyway. I'm back. Yeah, it's blade versus ice. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure who Blade's gonna play this time. But he's playing a bunch of different characters. Oh, Wolf is out. Yep. He doesn't just play sword characters, it seems. Interesting. Yeah, I think this is a really good Wolf matchup. Just for reasons like that, like. Even when Zelda tries to set up the knight, Wolf just gets in there and hits her before it, like the hitbox even active. Also has a shine, so he, he can reflect the knight too if he wants to. <laughs> Easy down smash. Jeez, way to clean up a stock. It is funny that that move. Wolf's down smash and nerfed like three times. I mean, it's just pretty clear that that move is intended to be powerful. Yeah. It's like, all right, well, this is this is our life now. This is Smash. But that was a great up BS shield, putting Blade really high up in the sky, but unfortunately not enough to reach the top. Another one. Wow, still living. Battlefield might not have been the best choice of action <laughs> for... Okay, wait, third time's the charm. <laughs> it better be at that percent. It's kinda good that it'll be out of shield work so well on so many of Wolf's, uh, like, basic approach options. Like, you try to fall on top of him with Nair twice, and then try to cross him up with dash attack on shield, but got hit by a B every time. Oh, no jump? Uh, what? All right, we'll take it. All right, big knight coming in. Putting damage on Blade, extending that lead. Oh, okay, back throw. Probably we go for like down throw neutral air or something like that, or forward air. Or me in the back here. Oh, there's <laughs> another discord I shield. Ooh, nice catch on the wall. Oh, great tech, wow. Yeah, oh, that was actually good. really fortunate for Ice that he was actually able to tech. Usually that wolf flash just sends you straight down. Yeah, he's fortunate he didn't get the spike hitbox. I just still don't know why he goes for so many raw bees in neutral, but you know, he, he's, a, he's in Zelda main. He's the expert here. Yeah. Oh, dang. Just like that. Ooh. Huge he forward air. Yeah, he like mixed up when he was gonna land on top of him with the aerial there. He dropped shield thinking that he was gonna forward air a little bit quicker than that. And then he pressed him for it. Nice stuff from Ice. I actually, uh, yeah, I didn't expect him to win that after how the game started. And since yeah. this is a really bad Zelda matchup, in my opinion. We're gonna see a character switch from Blade? He has a, he has a lot. Uh, but then again, he doesn't really need to switch. Like, Wolf is really good in this matchup. He, that SD just cost him pretty bad, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, so no character switches coming from either player. I don't think Ice even plays anyone else. I've only seen him play Zelda this whole time. Even outside of this tournament, like in other tournaments as well. Uh, 
Nice. Ooh. That's a lot of percent. Uh oh. Oh jump. Okay, so he he's lucky that he didn't get caught by the neighbors there. But dang, he's still getting like he's getting hit up a lot right now. No, the more I like I'm watching Blade play, I kinda of feel like Roy should have been the pick. Even the way that he's approaching ice, like Roy would excel at. And he could constantly have hitboxes out. Outside of like maybe a dash attack. It's using like Roy Roy tools. Yeah, I can see that as well. I think this is still best of five territory, so maybe if he just drops this game, we'll see the story come out. Oh, but there's that DLC move that's not even from a DLC character. Wolf back air. Stealing yet another stock. <laughs> Killing a sub 100% from a true combo, by the way. Okay, the drag down there into up tilt. Trying to reset Blade, tack on double the amount of damage, but Blade able to escape. A couple forward airs from Blade, and he's resetting back on the ledge. Oh man, that's unfortunate for Ice. That new shot just went completely through the neighbors though. Ooh. We gotta be careful here. Oh yeah, I think at this point, if uh, Ice rolls in a bad spot, he's gonna get up smashed. Oh, or he just can punish that. Again, another raw up B in neutral is very easy to punish. If he's like ready for it, that's like a free smash attack by the shield. Oh, caught the spot dodge. Yeah. Ice got scared a little bit there. Getting one hit with the blaster, and there comes that drag down neutral air again. But being able to escape with an upbeat and resetting on the platform, great platform placement for ice. It's kind of unfortunate that he got the sour spot of his upbeat there. Did not do enough knockback to really be threatening, but oh, the up air through the ledge. Wow. Oh, another free punish with the dash attack. Oh, and a, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Miss click. He has these d this deep in the bracket, especially on last stock, but uh, gotta play on point in these situations. That's right. So that'll bring the score to 1 1. This is still best of five, right? Or am I, am I, think I wrong? So. so it should be all top eight that's best of five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Man, it's always scary to play someone who plays a lot of characters in the best of five, because, like, you don't know if they're just going to throw you for a whole new matchup. And especially if you only use one character, like, so much easier to get counterpicked. That's true, but even with all those characters, we're not really seeing Blade go back to the character select screen, so this might just be five games of Wolf. Yeah, it, that's also scary, too, as a Zelda player. It's like, man... Like, fighting Wolf is, like, hard enough. Then, like, I potentially have to fight all these other top tiers, too. Like, I've always got to be on my toes pretty much. But, uh, the score isn't updated yet. It's 1-1, it's one, one, by the way. So, it's, uh, Ice's counterpick Kalos, which he's gotten to play on pretty much every time he's tried to counterpick. It's not gotten banned for him yet. But, uh... I don't know. I, I mean, Wolf is so good on a lot of stages that I, I don't think Blade minds playing on this stage either. Oof. That was really scary from Zelda. Nice. Up, he had a shield again. Yeah, he's just doing that like basic Wolf approach. Just fall on top of you with amazing neutral air. But if you're ready for it, can definitely uh, get some solid punches as he's seen from uh, Ice multiple times. That's true, but Ice 
Still hanging on to his first stock. We've seen a couple up smashes come out from Blade. Really only only one was looking really scary is the one that was up up e or up smash out of shield. See another one connecting. Yeah. Yep. Like wolf fashion, more up smashes. It's gonna get you more stocks. Not surprised Ice plays so aggressive in that situation. Like I would just take the fact that I got the stock the first stock and then try to hold on as much as possible, not really force any approaches on character like Wolf, but Still has a percent leader. He's not super far behind. Oh, okay. jabs on shield. Oof. Barely got past the knight there. Oh, and missing the tech on the Nehru's level and lead him into the up B as well. Ice getting some pretty decent percent here. Oh, really bad up B though, but no punish from Blade. It should have been a free up smash. You essentially just like run underneath him and then. I don't think Zelda really has enough drift to escape Wolf's up smash. No, you're you're completely right. If you know you're gonna up B like that in the air, you can just run right under him, get the up smash on their landing. Nice shield again on the neutral get up. Oh, free punish. Oh no, the slight startup of Wolf's smash attack was not uh, was just long enough for Zelda to get the shield on time. Okay, jump from jump from ledge, and Zelda's gonna retreat to the oh. other side of the stage. Knight into F smash, not enough. Oh, oh yeah, try to stall yeah. out, try to be cheeky. Yeah, even with the wall jump there. Definitely ha did not need to die in that situation though. There's the other drag down to up tilt, charging oh. up the trap really with the ice. Nice nears on the wolf flash yet again. Oh, it definitely fine with uh, taking that trade with the sweet spot for you. That's right. Oh, oh up be out of shield. Oh, Not gonna be in the correct again. Wait again, dropping that punish on the up B. Should have been two stocks there that he could have gotten, but anti air up smash catches him kind of fishing with the back air spacing. Jumped right, uh, got right under him, stuck in that up smash. Very good stuff. Multi air up smash definitely coming in clutch in that situation. And it was only the hit that he needed was like the super strong hit anyway. That was the only hit that connected, so. Yep, it's the one that mattered. Good stuff for Ice on his counter pick, to picking this 2-1 two, two lead. Let's see where Blaze, uh, or sorry, Blade, not Blaze. Blade um, decides to go here. He has counter pick advantage, stage switch advantage, or character oh. switch uh, advantage as well. That's true, we could be seeing a character change. I think Cloud would be really good too. Let's find out what it's going to be. Pokemon Stadium is going to be the the stage. And it looks like Roy is our character. Roy, not bad pick either. I mean, like I was I saying earlier, Cloud he was. He has, he has a little bit more range than Roy. And uh, he can keep Zelda out a little bit more. But Roy hits harder. That's better combos. And the way that he was approaching Ice anyways, like, it was it was a similar fashion as to how Roy would approach. Except now, like, whenever Ice tries to cross up or even land on Blade's shield with Nair, he's gonna be able to jab, uh, which, like, also hits behind him, and set up into kills even easier. Mm hmm That is true. We'll see if uh, that's a factor in this game. So far, Ice is not slowing down, really. Not really seeming super threatened by the, the switch to Warrior. Just keeping up his uh, game plan. Oh, uh, looking for a hard read on a roll. He can definitely get those hard uh, tech chases with uh, Roy, but oh my goodness, sneaks past him with the sweet spot aerial again from, from Zelda, man. I don't know where Blade thought he was going to land there, but dropping his shield at a very unopportune time. Oh, there's the double edge dance. Almost gonna kill. That move is insanely strong. With yeah, that's power. right. Uh, rumor has it if you mash the the B button harder, it actually had more kill move, more kill power. Sure, I believe that. <laughs> you believe that? <laughs> <laughs> of course. The, the harder I push the button, the more power my move's gonna have. It it works for uh, for for Robin then. 
Okay, again, Blade just trying to get this stock off without taking too much percent. Oh, he's so slow there. That was a free F tilt on the roll from Zelda. And there's another clean sweet spot. Uh, aerial out of shield there from Ice, just racking up all his free percent. Ooh, he hit the snipe. That got the jump to too. That's... That's... Snipe to the jump. Ice now with two, three stocks to one. Two stock advantage here. Finally going to get him out of here. I mean, at that but, point, um... you really just got to point the yellow stick at the bad guy. Yeah, he was at really high percent, but still, like, so, this is kind of rough for Blade right now. This is, like, potentially his last stock of the tournament. Nice, Nehru's to escape that combo there. Oh, the shield break. Is he dead at 41%? No. What? What? Yes, what? He's out of here. Great shield break set up there, using the Knight to pressure. And then just getting the sweet spot for it there as well, just to pop that shield. Easy kill there for Ice with the two stock. Blaze out of here at fifth place? Uh, no, yeah, no, that'll yeah. Put him, that would fifth place, yeah. Yeah, yeah, fifth place. Even though he had a pretty decent lose run going, couldn't close it out there. Very good, very good. Ice 